All right, there's the target. You picked it. Hit go to target. Hold the button. Let's see if it comes. Here it comes. You see the. You just keep holding the button. It'll come to you. I guess it won't go on public streets. It's not very fast, but it'll get to there. So this is the first time we tried to use the summons, but we we were standing behind the car and we tried to get it to come around, but we found out quickly that you can't use the summons on public streets. So you can see when it gets to the stop sign, it stops and shuts down the program and won't let the car proceed onto public streets without a driver. So we go back and try again. So this is us trying to do the summons in a park and ride in Ukaipa. It worked better because we were not trying to get it to go through a public street to get to us. It gets a little close to the cars if you see. It kind of bothers me, but whatever. And it won't stand. It's supposed to follow the lines, but you can see it goes through the lines. It comes around. And for some reason, it wouldn't do auto park in this parking lot. I don't know if the lines were too faded or it didn't have enough data on it. But it was successful at summons, but not auto park. And it kind of cuts ever so close to the curbs, if you can see right here. I don't know. See that? Oof. Makes you want to cringe. This is the view inside the vehicle when we were doing the summons. You can see it lock the doors. Sorry, there's a little bit of delay because we had to put the camera on a remote. Obviously, there's no one in the car. If there's anybody in the vehicle or it's in dog mode or anything, it will not do the summons. Takes a second. Sorry about this. The dramatic pause. I had to because I had to I parked the car then I had to walk back to the other side of the parking lot to show you guys. It'll come on here in just a second, sorry. I still don't know if I'm paying for this service or if it's just a trial. Oh then the red eye comes on saying it's recording. That's kinda creepy. And then that's when I gauge the auto park or summon sorry not auto park this is the view inside when I'm doing the summons wait it seems to move that steering wheel around a lot we're going to keep testing it out to what everybody thinks about it It doesn't go very fast. I tried at the Inland Center. I didn't film, but that's the mall here. There we are, waiting at the curb. It stops. There we go. The red eye comes back on. Kind of creepy. That's it. And that's it. So next, I went to the Starbucks. And I parked, but the Starbucks is new, so you can see there's like a dirt field where it said I parked. Wait here. But when I obviously you can see this, that 
the Starbucks is the better feeling. I think you just wait for it. Is it on the right side of the road? You've got to keep yeah, holding down the target button. That's like Don't go for the camera. Right. Guys, go. Back up. It's on the right. It's so it does so pause, I believe, to look. You're basically going to have to stop right there, I guess, right? It's, I literally saw the stairwell. What the heck, you guys? Wait here. And there you go. Again, thank you guys for watching. I will try to make some more videos. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you very much. I think you just wait for it. God, did you see that? There's a lady right there. A lady where? Oh, yeah, you're right. Was she really that close? Yes. That's weird. I think she kind of looked back. Okay, we're at the Starbucks. I want to show you guys the auto park. Let's pick a weird parking spot. So it comes up on the screen and you pick which one you want. So we want that one. You hit start auto park and let it do its thing. Sometimes it takes it like Austin Powers 10 tries. And for some reason, it only parks in reverse. I guess that's because when you go to test the charges, you have to be in reverse. And bingo. Mm -hmm. Somewhat straight.